how have I grown? Um, I've learned a lot of patience. I matured a whole lot. That's it, honestly. I just be working, staying out the way. I have grown personally in internally and externally in where I've moved and taking care of myself and trying to do better for others. A lot of what I've been focusing on is trying to be kinder in general. In the last year, I've become more mature. I can say that. Do you say that? I've become more mature. I don't know, and I've become more aware of like my space and then everybody that I encounter, stuff like that. I have been going through uh, quite the reorganization at work, and I've had to step out of uh, a lot of ownership of things, and so I'm, I've grown by learning how to delegate and let go. I definitely changed as far as like just being more open to new things, willing to experience new things. Well, Thomas is 17 months, so he has grown literally a lot, um, and our family has grown, and we are just going through the stages of, you know, being a mom with a career, being a grandma with a career, um, and so we have had to grow um, and just try to be great at as much as we can be at once. I've learned and acquired a lot of new skills. I've met a lot of really incredible people and really done a lot of self-reflection and working on how I treat myself and am vulnerable with those who I care about. How would you say we've grown? I've grown a lot. It's hard just in lately and stuff. We went from having a two-bedroom apartment and never being on the street, and I did community advocacy for eight years, to us being the story. With that being said, our growth has been very spiritual. We started a ministry this summer. And it's called Common Sense Faith Ministry, and it's about how to talk about spiritual warfare at the root of social injustice. I don't know if I've really grown, but I've been uh, destroyed by a lot of stuff. I think that every day I go into work trying to make everything the best for my students, and you know that makes it somewhat easy to carry over to being a mom. All my mindset is is just growth every day, making it a little bit better, easier, getting closer to our goals, so on and so forth. A community is responsible for its growth, and that they're supposed to work together. You have to learn how to work with others. I I know it's not easy because we come from different walks of life and everybody has their own opinion, right? But you have to learn how to engage with others and understand others. As a community, fight for your rights. You know, like how you interact with another person could change how that person day goes. So I guess it starts like for myself, like how I carry myself throughout the day and just try to be a better person towards the people around me. I think I can deepen my connection with like my relationship to the world at large. I am a marketing director at Welch Maloney. We are a certified public account accounting firm and part of my responsibility is college recruitment and in the accounting industry there is a shortage of accountants coming on and I find it's very important when I go out to the college career fairs a lot of students don't understand public accounting what the roles are and they really don't have the guidance or insight as to what it's involved with so I do a lot of mentoring and a lot of teaching and a lot of training sessions with students throughout Philadelphia I was thinking about this today I um, I actually am not terribly disciplined and I I've been going through a lot of uh, like knee therapy, and so I think changing the way I discipline myself to be better about my physicality. I feel like you could be a big influence on somebody else, especially your peers, people around your age, just being more positive. I have the ability to be kinder to others and help where I can, be more cognizant of how my actions affect uh, other people and the community as a whole. I can make decisions that better my health and better my treatment of myself and by default those around me. I think that we have to uh, think about what we have in terms of shared goals and also acknowledge the differences that we all have and so uh, if we're if I'm working toward your goals and you're working toward my goals I think that we make a better uh, future. Figure out what you need versus what you want. Did I Do I need water? Yes. Do I want a latte? Yes. Mm -hmm. What the hell is more important? I need water. I just really feel like it start with our kids. So like, if you're teaching your kids the proper things to do at home, they're gonna carry that with them on the outside world. Like if you're teaching your kids to be reckless at home, they're gonna come outside and they're gonna be reckless. Get to know guys, what we suggest, but you do have free will to look and to get to know other like beings because you're invaluable and you deserve to have happiness and everything you need in society to live a happy life and a healthy life with you and your family, whether you live alone, no matter who you're married to, not married to, you deserve to have the right to live and be happy. If we pave the way for how we want things to be, then I think if they have a rubric to follow, like a key, a God to follow, then it should be good. Taking societal issues seriously is a big step. Uh, acknowledging the environmental issues, um, you know, the lack of 
environmental sustainability and making sure people who have less can survive and not only survive but thrive. Just putting people in position to do better and I feel like everybody should follow some type of some type of rules and everything like everybody should just do the right thing. Sustainability is something that uh, as a parent I think there's a lot of give and take. Choosing to use disposable diapers versus you know reusable diapers is a moral decision. <laughs> Obviously we want to help the environment and sustainability of all of those types of things but realistically it can be tough sometimes so we're all doing our best. I think also important part is recognizing that we are already on the path of no return and what would you place a value on protecting if you knew there was a time stamp on your life and on the lives of everybody that was important to you? Community is everything when it comes to growth because I, from the perspective of education you know uh, we only have so much weight in uh, especially a teenager's you know life and what they really care to change or believe even so community is everything and integrating yourself into the community as an educator is really important. Libraries are an essential part of what uh, binds our communities together and so I think that that really relates to what I do in terms of connecting people with information and connecting people with each other to uh, to share what we do together to make our community work. If more people are like willing to like help more and do things like that that definitely can be a big change and that definitely helps with growth yeah I feel like that's a big part in the growth. Spiritual growth. That's the best way? That's the best way to do it. And it's best to spiritually grow and get to know yourself. So with that being said we suggest people talk to the light, get to know God that's what we got to know, that's what we suggest but you're, off, you're open to have free will. Community is extremely important no matter what type of community that you are in from a business perspective or from a local perspective and if you don't have the support of others you really can't grow and achieve what you need. If we all work together as a collective to make sure that we're a good city and that we uphold a good rapport with each other, I think that the space itself will be positive. Community programs uh, such as food drives, the library, the little library books, especially the band book libraries, I really like those. Uh, I think that definitely helps the community grow. Um, what it gives back to people who can't do as much as, as others, like what it gives back to them, I think is, is a good way for that to grow. I feel like we've all been taught the bar of being successful or okay is feeling happy joy when that's a temporary state we need to like redefine within us and honestly across the world what the goal is the goal is to be okay once we're all okay then we can all experience the temporary joys